telling you, telling you, telling you, the morning has got nothing but assholes out. Look at these motherfuckers, why are they goddamn fucking stop? Oh, snitches. Get stitches. It ain't my concern. They had an attack in Ohio State. Now, I watched it on TV. I watched it. You were glued to the set. I was, because it was you don't have it a was job. live. It was live. They were showing it live. So live they, they, on network TV. Well, it was MSNBC. If you can oh. call that a TV network. Anyways, you know, anyways, they were talking about an active shooter going around. They had cops surrounding everything, everywhere and everybody. All right? They were taking students out one at a time, patting them down and, you know, going through that whole route. Come to find out that this active shooter drove his car through a bunch of pedestrians whereby he hurt a bunch of them. I mean, he hit a, you know, you get hit by a car, it's pretty traumatic. You know, broken bones, legs, and shit like that. Then he got out of the car and he had a knife and started slashing people with his knife. So my question is, okay, you have all these people on this fucking campus all these fucking so-called men, none of them could have stopped. I mean, you can't stop a guy with a knife. A gun I can understand. Or I can understand duck and cover. The guy had a fucking knife. All you fucking safe place motherfuckers couldn't stop him. Really? Why? He had a knife. Why was he on a rampage? He was a student. They don't know. Oh, it was exam week. Could be. Stress got to him. That's what but that's said. not the point. That's I really want to know why. What makes you wake up this morning and say, you know what? You know, was it because they always lollygag? You know, and he's always late for class. And he's always lollygagging. And they look at him like, you ain't going to do shit about it. You know how these pedestrians are. Who cares? I'm, I care. But you know what I'm talking about. You stupid motherfucker. Episode 48 of Me Almost Dying. I was so tempted to hit my gas and go even faster. But that's okay. Notice how we spurted ahead, right? I Fuck. think he's running from you, but anyway. Um, Fucking douchebag motherfucker. I wonder, I, what would happen. I wonder what would happen if I turned where he turns. Eat shit bricks. Because that's road rage. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm, I'm always in the, you know, I'm always amazed by how people just dawdle in front of cars. Like, they know they're invulnerable they, and you're not going to hit them. But how many, it was a day 40 when he said, I right, fuck it, and hit the gas and hit them. But, but that's not the whole point I'm getting to. What's, well, I know what your point is. But I'm not sure that Ohio is full of gun nuts. Ohio is an open carry state. It is. Oh, it is? But it's forbidden to open carry on college campus or on school properties. That don't stop them. Obviously it doesn't, but that's not the point. He had a fucking knife. A knife. Yes, okay, maybe you'll get cut. And get a slight infection. Well, how many people did he stab before he was stopped? There were nine people hurt and he got shot. They ended up killing him. Why he had a not, knife. And why did they kill him? Uh, he had okay. a knife. So let me tell you. I, 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 you without know. even looking at the situation, this person was either black or Muslim. He was Muslim. Well, he had a Muslim sounding name. He, he was Arabic. Because those people don't get taken in alive because they shoot to kill. He had That's a bullshit. fucking knife. You can't take down a man with a knife? And a cop, a security, no, well, he wasn't even a cop. He it was, can't, a security guard don't carry guns. He was a campus police. They carry weapons? They carry they live carry rounds? They carry weapons. Same as, uh, same as the school your sister goes to. They carry guns too. Mm. But they are much nicer at her school. Well, they're not trained. They are much, much nicer at her school. Because I have had instances where I've had to interact, interact with them. And they are rather nice. They use common sense. 
Well, I'd like to hear some. People. I will give you an example of common sense that they use. I was parked in front of the school, waiting for your sister to come out of class. I got there a couple of minutes early. So I'm sitting there reading a book, and one of their cops comes up to the window, taps on the window, says, you know, you're not allowed to park here. I says, yes, I do know that, but my daughter is coming out, she'll be down in a couple of minutes, and then we're going to leave. He said to me, okay, I'm making my rounds, I'll be back in 10 minutes, if you're here, you're getting a ticket. And then he left. I, just, I could not ask for anything else. I said, okay, thank you. We'll be gone. I just want to hear people of color have the same experience as you do. I mean, really. I could not ask for anything else. He was very polite, very courteous. You know, you're not supposed to be here. Okay. When I come back, if you're here, you're getting a ticket. I can't ask for anything else. There was no drama, no pent-up energies, no puffing up your chest like I'm in charge, get the fuck out of here. You know, none of that shit. He was very cordial, very nice. You gotta give him credit. But that's my experience and I am white after all. So I can't speak for what would happen if it was a black person. Per chance they may get the same treatment, per chance not. It's a 50-50. Or 75, 25, 60, 40, maybe. Uh, you can't play the odds. You don't know until you know. But yeah, I thought they were very nice. <laughs> hey, which brings us back to Ohio State. The man had a fucking knife. Why was he killed? The man had a knife. He didn't have a gun, didn't have an assault rifle, didn't have any of that shit. No bombs, no nothing. A fucking butcher knife. And you killed him. Yes, he did an unspeakable thing. He ran over and assaulted people intentionally. He stabbed people intentionally. But don't you think he should have gone to trial first? Don't you think he should have been charged with <coughs> assault, intent to kill, and all that other shit, going to trial? Don't you think the legal system should have worked? So let me Rather than become his executioner, just like that? Let me change gears on you a little bit. What do you think of Dylan Roof representing himself? Uh, you know what the lawyers say. Yeah, I know what the lawyers say, but... They started out this trial by saying he was unfit to stand trial. How the fuck is he now, all of a sudden, fit to defend himself? Okay. And isn't he you facing are... capital murder? Yeah, nine counts of it. And he wanted to make a deal where he wouldn't have to get killed. But the prosecutor turned that down. Oh hell no! You going you you looking straight and serious? Most people who want to defend themselves have an agenda. He has an agenda. He's going to try to promote what he did as you know. He wants right. to be a martyr. Yes, and they're going to let him be a martyr because when he goes to court, if he's representing himself, he can call any witness he wants, which means he's going to be able to call up the families of the victims to add more insult to them. But, the law says he's entitled to represent himself. You are entitled to that. If you want to be that stupid and do that, it's your prerogative. But no matter what he does, he's going to be found guilty because he did it. In fact, did it. And he's got too many people saying, yeah, I saw him do it. Not, I think he did it, or you know, it looks like the guy did it. They're going to say, yes, it's him, because I saw him do it. I saw some little documentary on him, and I really appreciate the one honest dude that said he was always strange. You know? Because normally when they ask people, they always say, oh, I never suspected, or no, I'm shocked. They always say that shit. Always. Yeah, it's the ones you know, they, they, it's the ones they talk about like that are the ones that you have to worry about. Like, I work with this Nobody guy. Nobody thought Jeffrey Dahmer was strange. <laughs> Give me a break. 
I work with this guy and he was weird okay there was nothing about him that was normal okay so he decides to take pictures of naked little kids that were in his care yeah uh, and what he this is a long time ago uh, I'm, I'm remembering this but okay oh. and he decides because if he wasn't using cell phones that we didn't have them back then like that um, he oh. decides to take it to the instant developing place around oh. the corner from where he worked and have them develop it oh now my. generally speaking these one hour photo places don't look at the pictures you know because they process so much but I know this guy I know his gorky ass went in there and probably said some shit like oh yes this is hot stuff you know I, I just feel that in my my soul he did that probably they saw the pictures call the cops they go to the job and arrest him and fuck it I was off that day when they arrest him at the job and everybody they talked to said oh I'm totally surprised I'm like you fucking liars you knew he was weird Nothing that they arrested him for would have surprised me because I knew something was wrong with him. I just didn't know Don't what. Don't dig up the sheriff's checking out the trash bins. <laughs> I didn't suspect that he'd go so far as that. But if, if there was a woman who said someone stole all the panties out of my, my laundry, I knew it was got to be him. <laughs> you know? I just didn't oh, suspect. Well, let, me, let me get you to the staircase. I just never suspected that he was preying on the children. And he's doing like 20 years. Still in jail. Yeah, he's probably in a mental ward because he's probably... No, no, dude, I check on him every now and then. No. He's in the GP? Yeah. Ooh. He's in the, he's in the joint, he's somebody's man. somebody's bitch. You yeah. know that. His mama acts like that's not her child. If you ask her about who, she says, <laughs> nope, no uh, relation. That's, that's what happens when you inbreed. But the thing is, 20 years for what he did, all he did was take pictures. And I know why he got them 20 years. Because he did the same thing to the judge that he did at the job. He wouldn't keep his fucking mouth shut. Probably not, which, me, which leads me to believe that he's mentally he's got a mental problem. Yeah, he does. Because you know how I was when that judge looked at me. Yeah. Every, most people have common sense facing the judge. This dumb motherfucker is going to run his mouth... Probably cut the judge off. Judge looked at the paperwork, looked over his eyes, looked at me and said, Did you do this? And I'd advise you to say yes. I looked back at the judge and said, Yes, Your Honor, that's me. <laughs> he said, Time served. And I walked out. Well, I didn't walk out. I had to go to someplace else. But that's, that ended that whole situation real fast. Boom, just like that. Yeah. yeah. See, you knew what to do. He probably said, Your Honor, and, and you know, and the ju judge is telling him to be quiet because that's how he was at the job. He never shut the fuck up once. And he probably said all this shit, and then the judge said, You're getting the maximum time because you too fucking he, stupid. He actually startled me when he said that because, I mean, he, he's, he's a young little mid 30s, and he's looking at the paperwork, right? So he puts his glasses down on his eyes like this. Yeah. And he looks at me. Just like that. He's looking at the paperwork, looks at me, says, did you do this? What did you do? It was that speeding bullshit in North Carolina. He says, did you do this? And then he says, I'd advise you to say yes. I look back at him, and he's looking at me, and I said, yeah, that was me. You know, kind of low. Yeah, that was me. I'm sorry. He says, okay, time served. And that was the end of that. Now, I could have argued with him, said, nah, 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 but nah. it would have been, I, I would have, I'd probably, being North Carolina, I'd probably still be there. <laughs> you know, I kind of got the feeling that, you know, he wanted to settle this whole fucking issue right there and then. Well, you picked up on what he was putting down. I have seen some people, when the judge pulls down the glasses and it says, um, I advise you to do whatever. And they say, oh, you see your honor. And they start talking. And then you see the judge lick his finger and start rip, you know, pulling pages. Uh -huh. And you say, oh, he's okay. screwed. Okay, we got to go. You got to get going. You're really late this morning.